You got a haircut. Yeah, my daughter graduated from college. So oh, congratulations. I had congratulations. To clean up. Wow. Yeah. Summa cum laude. What's that? Is it? Uh, she graduated with between a three point nine and a four point oh. Oh, I thought it was like a sorority or something. No, no. It was like like very high grade, uh, high grades. High grades. Cunny, cunny. What? Yeah. Okay. Cool. High grades, but but but, so so she's done. She's done with college. No, she's gonna go for a master's. But she got her bachelor's degree. Yes. Okay. Well, he did like half her homework. No, I helped her out <laughs> oh, a little bit. It's not true. <laughs> uh, it's my daughter I'm gonna help her you know, Whatever Anyways anyways, Congratulations We won't say her name Or can we say her name No No Well congratulations To Juan's daughter Anyways uh, Welcome to another episode Of Atomic Pop uh, Featuring uh, Fat Man and Little Boy I'm Stephen Corka I'm Juan Farach Yep And uh, Juan has no idea What we're gonna talk about today No I didn't give him any Pre-game Nothing And like I don't even know it myself I'm kinda throwing it together So let's just Let's just get right into it First of all If you haven't subscribed To our YouTube channel yet Why haven't you um, The full HD version With nice little fun graphics That I'm putting together Is on there uh, and, and and I'm just getting better And better at this every week So so it, it's just looking Better and better I think Why don't we make like Comments Commentaries. What, like Mystery Science Theater 3000? Yeah. Like commentary on our commentary? commentary yeah. <laughs> I think that'd be pretty funny. <laughs> Us talking over ourselves? Yeah. Yeah, look at that fucking idiot. <laughs> but you don't like listening to your own voice. No, I hate my voice. Okay, so right. so how would that go down? I, I would talk shit about how I sound. Oh, really? Why? Yeah. Well, how do you think you sound? Huh? How do you think you sound? I sound like a bad day from fucking hanging myself. A bad day from hanging yourself. Yeah. So you live beyond the grave, though. Right. Okay. Well, that, that's that's a talent. Mm. I, I like that. Uh, so, anyways, subscribe to our channel. Go to YouTube.com and just search Corker Comics, and we will come up there. We have 10, 10, I think, reviews and videos posted already to date. And as you can, if you guys haven't picked up on it, we do this weekly uh, via Facebook Live, Instagram Live, and then uh, the show goes up on YouTube a couple days later, the full HD version. Um, so, again, Corker Comics, YouTube.com. Check that out. In other exciting news, this Saturday, August 5th, we're doing our 2017 first annual um, end of summer back to school block party. And I am, I'm super excited. How are you, how you feeling? I have to work and it's a Saturday. Well, <laughs> it's, I think. You can guess. I, I'm I'm super excited. Listen, we're gonna have we're he's gonna have, the owner. First of all, we're gonna have live entertainment. We got we got a DJ Batsy coming out of out of hibernating. He's with with your favorite freestyle hits, you know. Uh, and uh, and Eddie, what's your DJ name? DJ Ease. DJ Ease is gonna be in the house. It's gonna be nice. We got food trucks coming, oh, okay. which I'm really excited about. You know, we have great artists that we met at a local con, which we'll talk about in a little bit. That mm -hmm. are coming out. Um, I, I wish I I wish I had their 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 fucking info right yeah, now. Yeah, but no, I, I, no. I totally. We wouldn't want to promote them. What if they don't show up? They better show up. Well, we'll talk about it well, after they come. Absolutely, they there better show up. You know. Anyways, uh, uh, we got local artists coming out. We got local vendors coming to sell some of their stuff. You know, mm -hmm. outside the store too. And it's just going to be a great spot. Hangout, food, drinks, fun. There's going to be a dance contest uh, uh, where we're giving out prizes to the best dancer. You don't have to be a perfect. Um, you know. Um, train dancer you can just do some crazy booty dance like freestyle shit and uh, if you are the most entertaining we're gonna vote for you right mm -hmm. yep uh, we're also giving free gift to anyone in cosplay and when I say cosplay I don't mean hoodie sweatshirts that come over your face and you look like Wolverine all of a sudden or like a t-shirt with the bat symbol on it that is not cosplay you need to be in an outfit um you can show up like at Suzy Fett though, half naked with a helmet though. We'll count that as cosplay, right? Any sure. any women that want to show up half naked? Well, sure. Why not? No. Yeah, guys. I mean, if you want to come looking like three hundred, that's cool too. I mean, but that's for at Suzy Fett. Who's gonna be here? Suzy Fett will be here, um, and I'm gonna mandate since she works for me that she's in some type of outfit. Oh, um, cool. Yeah, yeah. She doesn't have to be in lingerie because I doubt she'll do that. Sabine, maybe. Would you would you do would you do lingerie on a Saturday? She's probably gonna do her Sabine. Have you seen it? Why are you getting all shy? She's like super shy. She's just laughing now. She has a really good Sabine outfit. Does it? Yeah. Do you have a good Sabine it's outfit? Really good. Sabine from Star Wars. If you guys, yep. if you guys, if you guys didn't figure, it's that Susie Fed who's half naked all the time on her. Insta I'm sorry. I'm just putting you on blast. I got it. Anyways, um, so yeah, check it out. August fifth, our our end of summer back to school black uh, black party. 
<laughs> Block party. <laughs> Block party. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. There's, and and I, I was thinking about booty music. That's what just happened right now. I was thinking of Uncle Luke, and I'm like, fuck, he's good. You know? Mm-hmm. Which, which, by the way, DJ E's, if you do play some Uncle Luke, make sure it's the sensitive version because we are going to be out in the par- public parking lot oh. and there'll probably be children here. As much as we'd like to say, fuck shit, bitch, asshole. Which we didn't say, by the way. That we, uh, I'm trying to be better. Th- oh, you're trying to be better. I watched Highway to Heaven and I was touched. Is that is that the one with Michael, what's his Landon. name? Yeah, Michael Landon? Yeah, he's an angel and he goes around helping people. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. I, I totally and at one point, yeah. this guy's like, the world's a cold place. And he's like, nah, people are cold. And I'm like, I got to change. Wow. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, good. Good. All right. Um, highway to have. Wow. That that was a serious, like, deep cut throwback right there. <laughs> All right. And any anybody anybody younger than thirty two probably doesn't. And know other, what I don't remember is. the other guy named the guy that plays a detective who was also with him on uh, Little House on the Prairie. I don't know because I didn't yeah. watch Victor the show. French. I was pretty young Victor when, French. when Highway to Heaven came out. Yeah. You know. Um, he died a few years after the show went off the air. Unfortunately, he did. He did of cancer, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and um, a lot of people don't know him anymore. But where would you place him in like Americana lore, right? My, uh, yeah. I mean, Highway to Heaven, Little House on the Prairie, right? I like, would, I would say Silver Age of Television. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not the Golden Age, but definitely the Silver Age of of Television. Uh, but he's not here anymore, like so many greats. So, anyways, um, uh, August fifth block party happening we're also going to be doing a live broadcast of this show right here outside uh where we'll be bringing people up to talk comment questions answers q a session we might even broadcast uh some of the great people that are coming out in costume for the dance contest either way it's gonna be a great party we're here all day long wanna, all day i want to take the opportunity to thank uh i want to thank a bunch of uh customers and and viewers who have taken the time to call us and compliment us or voice their appreciation for the show Oh really? Uh, Go yeah, ahead. just Go for it. just the other day, um, we have someone probably watching now says he uh, he loves us. Uh, Mark Landis, who's always a, uh, participating, we appreciate him mm-hmm. and yeah. and a bunch of guys because uh, through your feedback we can make whatever changes we 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 feel we. Wow, you're, you're you're extra wholesome today. Highway to heaven. I, I tell you about it. Like, yeah. like you're, you're, you are, you are sucking hard cock right now. I'm, I'm. Well, I wouldn't yeah. go that. I'm wholesome. Uh, uh, that ruins a whole wholesome thing. It, it does ruin the whole wholesome thing. But yeah. okay, yeah. But okay. <laughs> also, you know. Wow. One bad relationship away from that too. Anyway. Wow. Yeah. Okay. That that graduation must have been special. Well, it's a lot of things happen at once. I guess a lot of good things. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Speaking of, still lot have of, a lot of inner turmoil, but inner turmoil. Yeah. I was gonna, I was gonna segue that into a lot of good things, but I don't know if with, I don't, you know, I don't want to talk uh, disclaimer. I don't want to talk shit about what we're about to talk about next. You know, so let's just put it out there right now. Let's keep any negative comments to ourselves because these people are are great, are great for our community. Well, I'm honest. I know I, I I'm honest too. Don't so. worry, guys. I won't sell out. If it's shit, it's shit. Go ahead. Well, Mr. Juan, I don't want to prepare you. Uh, it, this would have helped, probably, right? Uh, now you're thinking about it. Maybe I no, should have no, told no, him no, before. No, 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 I, I like. I no, I, I like the fact that this is off the cuff and sure. we're not, and we're totally unprepared because what this is this is raw where we make where we make mistakes, like you know whatever. Anyways, but uh, for the internet world, this show takes place in South Florida, Miami, Dade County, Broward County, and uh, this past weekend we had our annual big comic book convention down here for the city of Miami, which was actually technically in the city of Fort Lauderdale, called Florida Supercon. Okay. Um, simultaneously, in the same state, Tampa Bay had their Comic Con as well. Is that what it's called? Tampa yeah. Bay Comic Con? Tam- yeah. Um, Florida Supercon's been going on for, what, five, six years now, I think? More. No. Has it been more than that? I mean, it might have been. Might, maybe 10 years. I don't know. I, it's I, become a fixture for it, our, it, it, it's it our is, con. It has definitely grown. It's gone from a little, like, Marriott Hotel ballroom right. to, like, filling a huge convention It is like center. the Miami con It now, is. Right. It is the comic con to go to for comic cons in the South Florida region. Sure. And many other people have tried to put cons down here. Uh, even Wizard World, who is the second biggest con in the country right now, Uh tried and they weren't as successful as Florida Supercon. Yeah, they failed. So so hats off to Florida Supercon for establishing that uh, that market. Uh, it was at the Fort Lauderdale Convention Center this weekend. Uh, some great people were there. Um, uh, well, before we talk about Supercon, I want to talk about the Fort Lauderdale Convention Center. Go for it. We've been to like three con- – I've been to three cons there. This one – was Wizard World there? Wizard World was Wizard there. Wizard World was there and uh, the KISS one, the uh, – the, uh, 
the uh, horror uh, one. The horror one, yeah. right? But, and which failed miserably. Fort Lauderdale Convention is the absolute worst place I've ever been to a con in. Well, the parking's horrible. First the of parking all. is one of the biggest detractors. Yeah, absolutely. Because first of all, it's going to take you like five fucking hours to get there. Yeah, right. Because what you got to understand is this is by the Port of Broward. Excuse yes. my language. It's this fine. is by the Port of Broward, right? Yes. And so there's a lot of security, so there's one one lane to get there. Yes. So first, you're going to be in like traffic for two hours. Yes. You could get there, might not be parking. Might not be. My and there's no near parking. Either. No, there's yeah. no near parking. Like there's a Carabas like three blocks away. Yeah. And and yeah. they they need to stop pushing these big cons and trying to have them there because it's very very inconvenient I, and it makes for a bad to, time. To be fair to the Florida Supercon people, no, they, it's not they, on them. This they, is the well, Florida they, the they, convention I mean, center. They're looking for space. Miami Beach Convention Center, which is where they had it two years ago, I believe, small. is under construction actually, yeah. under oh, renovation. Okay. So you can't do shit there even if you wanted to. And there's really nowhere else. They used to have it at the Miami Airport Convention Center, which you know. Is super small for for what they're doing. Um, so, it, well, the, the convention center is probably like charging these people astronomical amounts of money. Astronomical amounts, right? So, yeah. the convention center could do their part in directing traffic or doing something about the parking or how they can. The convention center is not going to do that. They're not going to do that. Well, for they're, what they're charging, they, they, then you know what? It's up. It's up to the person putting on the event, whatever it is, to hire security. There, there has hire, to be hire off-duty cops, all that stuff. Like there, that. there has to be yeah. something done about the logistics there to make it a smoother. To understand how many spaces we have, how many cars they yeah. let in, like it was a nightmare for people. You know what? But let you know what? This is a bigger conversation to be had about cons in general, uh, and and. And this is where this is what I was thinking we would talk about is the oversaturation of cons in America for this genre in the last five years. Okay. I think I think that it has gone from from a, a very niche market, you know, and right. now it's just so oversaturated. Every major city has a con now. They are all literally the same, you know. You start to see the same artists. It's like it's like they go on a little tour, yeah. you know. And, yeah. and and it's the same people, you know. Um, I'm fortunate to say that I've been to San Diego Comic Con. Yeah. I'm fortunate to say that I've been to New York Comic Con. Those two are probably the staples. There's also WonderCon. There's also C2E2. MegaCon has gone top Me five right now. MegaCon, I'm sure, is top. MegaCon five. is but huge. Here's here's the deal. Unless you have the unless you have the vendors like Marvel coming in or DC Comics or or these or these huge cartoon net whatever it is these huge like people coming in with these huge displays EA Sports whatever it is you're like you're really just getting a bunch of people with wire walls with wire shelves and they're you know the plastic shelves selling pops and comics it's very garage sale looking but here here's you know? the thing I, I was fine with that when you had garage sale prices yes right but here's the, th the the difference is you had all these vendors before when there was maybe one con maybe two or three cons you would go in the whole year right yeah so at the end of the show you knew that you were going to sell anything for another year before the next con so what would happen is these people would put things on sale and you'd be able to get really great deals now since there's a con every other weekend right there's no motivation for these sellers to actually give people a good deal so what is the point of buying from a vendor at a con if you can get the same thing probably cheaper on ebay because don't know overhead probably absolutely so that's i think that as a result of oversaturation is kind of hurting the fact that we can that people can go and get good deals see i think i think as a retailer and also you know i'm assuming on on the retailers that go to these cons and then as 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 a business that has done one con before, as a retailer, it's really not a good market for for you to do. I don't think cons are designed to, to for retailers anymore the way they used to be. I think cons are mainly for the celebrities, for the people to come in their cosplay, and f and and the one good thing I will say about cons is it is it gives a forum for local artists and writers yes. to promote their material and hopefully get something out of it. Uh, we were we, like we said we were at Florida Supercon and we saw a lot of great local artists and writers just trying to trying to get their foot in the door and trying to do some amazing things. Um, not, it's not all amazing. Some of it's hit or miss, as and as anything is. But at least it gives these people a platform to put their stuff out there and sure. expose it to an audience that would appreciate uh, the the media that they're trying to put out. Uh, that's the one good thing for retailers, though. You know, 
all the comic retailers that are there are all selling the same comics. All right. they're, all the pop people are selling all the f- same Funko Pops. There's nothing unique. Uh, if I see one more stand with Marvel Legends from Toy Biz up there, I'm just going to be like, Jesus, like, like has has nothing new came out? Right. Or the Pops, and it's the same key issues. And, like- and, 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 and they're all priced the same, and they're all, I mean... Uh, I, and there's no incentive to buy them either. None. Because if you're saying, you know, buy two Marvel Legends, get one free, or they're offered an incentive, right? It'd be completely different. But there is none. Some of the some of the places had stuff more expensive there than we have here in our store. Right. Again, because yeah. they have to they're they're paying, you know, two, three, four thousand depending on the size of of their booth. Yes. They gotta they gotta make back their yeah. booth. Yeah. So I, I don't you know, it, and also the practice of I understand you you want to make money, but it, when they have the stars there, you're upcharging for like you know a Carl Pop. When we had them here for ten dollars, they sold out uh, Carl. But at the con, they're fifteen twenty bucks because they're there, and you know people are going to buy them. Absolutely, so, it, it's it's very difficult. Now l- let me say this: for being someone that has attended both San Diego and New York Comic Con, and I, I think we can we can agree that those are the those those are the gold, premier those are the cons, standards. Yeah. Those are those, that's 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 where you want. To, that's the Disneyland of Comic Con. Sure, you know, uh, as someone that went there, it, it is like going to Disney World, and then you go to these little city cons, and it's like going to a church carnival. It 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 is it it is the difference between the two, and and uh, so when I walk into something like Florida SuperCon or Tampa Bay Comic Con or even like Emerald City Comic Con or anything like that, like they just don't match up to to the to the people that are. Not only at these bigger cons, but even the vendors that come in and the and the boot displays that happen. But but to be fair, also though, um, you know, with, with with everything, there's a pros and cons. Um, it's a more intimate environment when you, especially when you want to meet writers and artists that you like. Like there was at one point, and and I'm sure that we'll talk about this later. The the death of of people who care about writers and. Yeah, an artist. But there was a point where, if we wanted to, we could have just hung out with Mike Zach and talked to him about whatever for an hour, mm-hmm. right? Totally. I- I'm sure that at San Diego Comic Con, that you don't you don't get to have that interaction, uh, no, especially I with, mean, with I, people. So last, that, that's a huge benefit. The last time I went to San Diego was three years ago, I think, three or four years ago, mm-hmm. and I literally I called it the San Diego Stand in Line Con. Yeah, because literally, like, you get there at six a.m. to stand in a line for three hours until they let you into the convention center, and then you wait in another line to go into the main hall. And then once you're in the main hall, you're waiting in lines at one of your various little little booths that you yeah. want to go see a celebrity, buy a product, uh, get a signature, whatever it is. So, yeah. like, literally, you spend, if you're there for eight hours, you spend seven of those eight hours in line. Right. So that, that's a pro to these smaller cons. While they don't have the same substance, yes. it, they, they offer you an opportunity to actually connect with some of the artists and writers and even stars. Uh, I mean, Jason Muse was there. There was nobody at his booth. If you really nobody, wanted yeah. to, we could nobody. have talked to Jason Muse for Ralph now. Ralph Macchio, Karate right. Kid was there. So it gives you an opportunity to actually spend some intimate Chandler time. Chandler Riggs, Carl. Yeah. He had like three people in line. Yeah, like, so you have to that that is a benefit to these uh, smaller yeah. conventions. Yeah, it, it is. I mean, so, I mean, you haven't been to San Diego yet or New York. So you, you, the biggest con you've been to is MegaCon, MegaCon right? Yeah. So obviously this didn't match up to MegaCon. No. But take MegaCon away. Uh, what would be your impression of Florida SuperCon or these other cons uh, around the country that are along the same? playing field i 100 percent would rather go to the smaller cons so you enjoy that more than the bigger ones yeah even like, though even though you're missing the marvel booth you're missing the dc absolutely. booth you're well, missing the funko so booth. i'll give you a story yeah so um i went to a con I, I, it was i think the horror the pop con yeah. right a couple years ago yes and it's the first con i ever took my kids to okay and they were super excited and Man- uh, Stephen bauer was there right uh steven bauer the guy that plays manolito on Que Pasa US, uh, Manolita on Scarface, and then he's also in Que Pasa USA. You know what I'm talking about? I'm white. Stephen Bauer. All right, that's why you had to change his name, right? Yeah. So <laughs> Stephen Bauer's there, and I tell my kids, I was like, kids, look, it's this is Manolito. And they're super excited because they've never met a star, okay. right? And so they want an autograph. So I'm like, all right, kids, Manolito, what do you want him saying? He's like, Stephen Bauer. I'm like, yeah, Manolito. He's like, Stephen Bauer. So at the end, my kids want an autograph picture. So I pay for the autograph picture. He signs it, Manolito. Nice. Yeah. So I have that story. That'll never happen at like San Diego Comic Con. I don't have those experiences. You know what though? You get you get great panels there. It, it is. It, it really is an enhancement. Again, it's like it's like staying at the Four Seasons versus staying at the Motel Six. Yeah. 
Yeah, but George Perez yelled at me. That won't happen at San Diego Comic Con. I mean, it might if you piss him off. Yeah, who knows? You know, I mean, I remember being at San Diego Comic Con in the Marvel booth, and like literally, like I'm right here, and Brian Michael Bendis is right where you are. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Now he granted he was talking to, to customers in line, and that he was signing, and I was just in passing. But like, I could have touched him, and not saying I want to. I'm not gay for mm-hmm. Brian Michael Bendis, but but uh, but the the. The creators are there, and 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 the A list creators are there. The right. ones you never get to really see. Right, because at these small you know? cons, you usually get like one or two maybe headliners. One or, one or two right. headliners, but and at the end, they, they it loses its lusters. Like you know, Neil Adams. How many times do I need to see Neil Adams? Yeah, yeah. Charge overcharge me. And uh, another thing I got to talk about too about these cons is is uh, if you followed our Instagram at Corker Comics, uh, I I took a lot of uh, story shots of women's backsides at the uh, Florida Supercon uh, this weekend. It wasn't to exploit women, but it was just to be like, look, these girls, number one, have the confidence in the world to like come out here and slave lay outfits and God knows what else they were wearing. And like, they shouldn't. I'm just saying. Like, wh- what are they doing? Like, like wearing sl- bikinis and stuff looking like that. I mean, what do you think? Like, seriously, what do you think? About what? I don't even have my mic about what? What, you want to listen to me? What are you afraid of? I'm not afraid. I'm just saying. I mean, look, I'm all for like, Go for it. I, you know? who, who was it? Dave Shipp. Uh, this is my opinion on... on. Uh, what are you afraid of? Well, no, I'm not honest. afraid of it. I'm honest. Okay, 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 so this is my okay. opinion on, on hey, this, wait. on the whole sexy cosplay and the whole debate that's going over that. I should never, ever, never should a guy try to take advantage and, you know overstep certain boundaries right just because a woman dresses that way is not an invitation for a man to harass her was i harassing no no i'm not talking about you i'm oh. talking about the general conversation you weren't harassing in general no, no. conversation but Susie fett was there, i was i was i uh, no, no, harassing? no no you weren't harassing so by, by taking paparazzi shots it, it, there, there's an old joke is from or, or like like stalker sh- they were kind of stalker photos yeah it was i was like it was like Woo! there's yeah. there's i don't know if it was chris <laughs> rock or dave Chappelle, and and he was going on and he says you know about girls in the club that dress a certain way and then you go and talk to them and they get insulted hey i'm not a hoe hold on a second and he's going you were saying and saying they're not a hoe so he said well you know what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna dress like a cop uniform we're in a store and i'm gonna be walking through times square and someone's gonna get around they're gonna come up to me and they're gonna be like officer officer and he's like listen just because i'm wearing the uniform doesn't mean i'm a cop and he says with that he's like listen you might not be a hoe but you're wearing a hoe's outfit that's my opinion. I agree. I agree 100%. And you know what else too? When it comes to cosplaying too, like like uh, there are there are cosplayers like I I like accurate cosplay. I like I like cosplay that stays true to to the way a character looks. So like like when Batman shows up looking like Batman, I'm like that looks amazing. I'm not into the gender swapping cosplay like where where like a girl comes dressed like Darth Maul, but it's a girl or like you know a, i think it's cool I, I, I don't like it i don't like it i, I see like it i see it as a like, like as a reimagining like as like an elf fuck you don't shit, like bitch elf? asshole fuck jesus there were like three little kids in here and now we can fucking say shit god damn it oh you don't like elf world stories oh my god i wanted to talk about these fucking bitches and their fucking shit Woo! i'm good now you don't like girls good. I, was, I was holding it in it was like i was holding in a fart on a first date oh uh, yeah <laughs> seriously uh, so uh, <laughs> spontaneous combustion, right? South Park, great ready? episode. What? So you don't? You're not into like Elseworld stories? I love Elseworld stories. Then like, why don't you like movies. these different takes on on superheroes? Because at the end of the day, it's just some fucking bitch that says like, "I want to be Darth Maul." I want to be fucking so Boba Fett. I'm she sorry, could be a, Susie. I want to be fucking Boba Fett. So she but could, I don't have a dick. What if Boba Fett was female? That's what. It's just a reimagining. No, man. you know what it is? There's too many. Go be Zam Wessel. Fucking Susie. What is why you got to be Boba Fett? I it because I like Boba Fett. Yeah, and what if Boba Fett was female? But Boba Fett's not female. But what if Boba Fett was female? Whatever. I'm a purist, and there's nothing wrong with being a purist. Well, unless is there, is, unless, there, is there anything wrong with being a purist? Is there anything wrong? Look, you you're the, the the point of view you're taking the point of view you're taking right now is no different than the way Marvel is currently in their comic books. No, because that's in their main line. No, oh, oh, I'm sorry, because Boba Fett's not a main character, right? He is, but we're talking about Elseworld Boba Fett. No, this ain't a fucking. This is, fuck you. Listen, whatever. I think it's cool because I you I've seen some really cool like 
You didn't like the bombshells? What what DC did with the bombshells? You didn't like the bombshell line? You didn't think that was cool? They didn't take fucking Superman. Well, the Superman Harley Quinn Supergirl. isn't a pinup girl. But the only thing was change the costume. It was still a female. So you just don't want the gender difference. I don't want the gender swap. The costume could be changed. Costume, yeah, you can change. They change the costume anyways. The oh. costume, the costume that fucking um, Captain America has today is not this costume that Captain America had fucking fifty years ago. That's a that's a very old man view. Well, whatever. Then I'm old like, man. I, I call it a purist. You know, I, 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 you know what? There are so many great female characters out there. Find a female character. Be, you know, you don't. Yeah, but how many fucking ravens could we see, man? We saw like fifty fucking ravens. That's just because those fucking teenagers are into that shit right now, dude. You know, whatever. You know, or 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 you know what? It's easy to fucking make a purple cloak versus make a whole fucking get up. I honestly, I think it's cool. I like to see when it's well done. By the way, I, I'm not talking about when it's just you know, but when it's well done, I think it's a cool thing. Let me say, cost the cosplay at SuperCon this 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 past weekend was not that great. We were there on a Friday. We were there on a Friday. At Suzy Fett Saturday, was there on, yeah. How was it on Saturday? Saturday. Were well, there? There was some. I didn't cool ask costumes. you if it was crazy. How was the How was the cosplay? The dude that did Iron Man was great. Decent, yeah. Mm, she the, says it was decent. We saw Iron, Iron Man was good. It was okay. And uh, I think there was a group of Overwatch. A few of the Overwatch people were good. The, See, I don't play that game. The person that played game. Mercy was pretty good. Um, our boy, one of the people that uh, that buys pops here, he was... Oh, the Gears of War guy? The Gears of War. That yeah, gun, he looked The good. gun was fantastic. He was probably the best looking one that we yeah, saw, to be honest. he was. And that gun yeah. was amazing. The gun was amazing. So uh, there yeah. was a few... I, I just think maybe we're there on a slow day. Maybe on Saturday it was Wait, better. I, again, maybe, maybe this is my fault for being... Going to the mecca of comic book stores, that's and, true. Uh, comic, comic, comic book cons, and and that's my bar now. And so maybe I'm just fucked for life because I can't go to another con and enjoy it the same way because it doesn't, it just doesn't match up to the level of San Diego. You yeah. Know? So I'm just, I'm, I'm damaged. It's like I just had sex with the most beautiful girl in the world, and everyone else's pussy is just fucking, whatever. You know. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because, because. Cause, cause the girl B's tits are never gonna be that like girl A's tits. You know what I mean? Yeah, you just have to appreciate each set on its own value. I guess, I guess. So I let's guess, appreciate, but, but, let's appreciate these small cons for but, what but, they but, are. But, 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 but if they sag too, low, I don't know. No. Yeah, no. no. <laughs> I, mean, that's, I just, I just did that to do that. We whatever, should have this thing at like two in the morning is when we should be doing this. No, podcast. it's fine. Whatever, we can talk. What's up? Uh, uh Susie Fett, we got any uh, comments, questions? Curse Co. says... Is there a free slot for local artists who would love to have a chance to hang out and sell stuff here? Curse Co., absolutely. You want to come? All you got to do is bring a table. Uh, space is limited, so first come, first serve. We're going to get here around 8, 9 o'clock in the morning. Uh, so Probably outside. Uh, you'll probably be outside. Um, so if you can take you know, the heat. So uh, uh, we do have a space that's undercover. That space will co go first, and then uh, the parking lot will be open. So we recommend you to bring like a little tailgate the time, tent if um, need be. The, the uh, but Kursko, absolutely, you can come sell your stuff. It starts at 11. Start, right? well, but about, yeah. we're setting up at 9. We're so setting for up those right. of you that are going to set up, you can be come here early, at 9 yeah, o'clock. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, absolutely, come, come early. Yeah, wear whatever dark, you want. Dark Prophecy says fans can wear whatever they want because it's about having fun. Of, age, sex, or gender. of course they can wear whatever they want, but we're going to call you out on it if it looks bad. We don't have to like it, though. Yeah, exactly. You can wear whatever you want. If you want to show up in a diaper with a bottle and be the baby from Who Framed Roger Rabbit, go for it. That doesn't mean you're probably going to look good, right? Yeah. No, I, I, people and, have... And, and, yeah. and you want to know what? If you're going to do it, don't get pissed when we talk shit about it. Yeah, because you know? we don't. That's we all don't I'm have, trying to yeah, say. Yeah, we don't have to. The, the thing is, we don't you know? have to like it. Yeah. We don't have to like it. You know, we're either we're either gonna we're either gonna suck you off about it because it looked amazing, or we're gonna make fun of you, or it was just lukewarm and we don't care. But you know, if you're trying to make a statement or you're just trying to have fun, go for it. We're not discouraging you, man, woman, child, old person, whatever you are or whatever you want to be. But you know, we're gonna talk about it. Yeah, but we're gonna and and you wanna know what? At least me, I think you too. I'm gonna say what I'm thinking about it, and what a lot of people are probably thinking about it, but don't want to say because they want to be PC. 
Right. Or whatever. Now again, if for fun, yeah. yeah, absolutely do. For fun, it people is for should fun. do absolutely. whatever they want to do. You want to dress and and gender swap and all that. That's great. But we're talking Look, about I, I, is I, I, judging yeah. your costume based on what our tastes are, right? We might not like it. You don't have to look, like it. Look, look, right? th- this is this is a moral lesson beyond comic books right now. You can do whatever you you want. Whatever you want, whatever you feel, whatever you think is fun, whatever makes you happy in life. As long as whatever you're doing isn't imposed on the free will or the or 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 others, then go for it. You know, if that means you dress a certain way, if that means you talk a certain way, if that means you're into a certain thing, if that means you want to do a ton of drugs, you want to do a ton of liquor, if you want to preach the word of the Lord, whatever you want to do, go for it. As long as it doesn't affect my life or his life or anyone else's life, Don't care. go for it. Go for it. Whatever makes you happy, the more you know. Dun, 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 dun. But the other thing is, <laughs> while doing what you want to do. You have to also allow people to have the freedom to have the opinion they want to have. Absolutely. And people aren't always going to be receptive to your life choices or receptive to your cosplay. I, he certainly he has his taste in cosplay. I have my taste in cosplay. And you cosplay whatever the fuck you want. And just like you're coming here to have fun, you shouldn't give a fuck what we think. Exactly. So, ladies, you want to come and cosplay on Saturday and and wear a bikini, whether you look good or not, come. You're going to get a free gift regardless because you came out, you know. And uh, But, you know, if you're looking great, we're going to point you out. If you're looking, yeah, I might not point you out in public because I'm not a complete asshole. No, no, we wouldn't. Yeah. No, no, there's not. It's not yeah. about shaming yeah, someone we're not, either, we're, not, no. we're not trying to like, we're not like, shame, shame. Yeah. It's not like that. But, but, uh, but when you leave, we might talk about it. Well, me and Steve. Will yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean. Uh, we're fucking. <laughs> but anyways, yeah. so uh, Florida SuperCon happened this weekend. Way too many cons in America right now. I feel, uh, and I hope it doesn't. I you know I hope it doesn't hurt the genre. That's really what it comes down to. No different than comic book movies and TV shows and all this stuff. As like a that. store owner, like, how about the effect it has having so many cons consistently? How the effect it's having on us. Because yeah. now we got subscribers that are saving up for like a month. Yeah, They're not they, spending they, as they, much they in the stores. Like, and, and at the end of the day, to the retailers that are at the cons, with the exception of one or two maybe, it's all the same stuff. What are you saving up yeah. for? Right. You're saving up for the same thing that you could have got at your local store, not just mine, any local store, you know, and uh, for the same price. Right. You know? And and at the end of the day, you got to support your local stores because your, it's your local stores that are going to keep these cons going. Just like go see these movies, like The Mummy, as much as it hurts to go see it, go see it because it keeps the movies coming. No. Um, any other questions, comments, anybody? Um, Lucas Lopera says, I want to thank the local stores like yourself for creating days around these events for sales. Cons are great, but they bring no real value to for fans who are looking for collectibles. Boom. It's like I'm a psychic. I'm yeah. the voice of the people. Cons are great, but they don't bring... Listen, there were hardly any statues for sale. I, sw- I saw one boot that had statues. Oh, They were amazing, by the way. They were amazing. I don't know who they were. Okay, so were, yeah. as a store, we, you know, Steve usually avoids um, movie statues. Yes. I fucking hate them. Special or... or yeah. Any? When it comes to toys, when it comes to statues based on the movie version of characters, for some, they do not sell. I mean the Suicide Squad. It it it, it, depends. it depends. It depends. Suicide Squad is going to have, but you know, you know, it depends. Yeah. It's circumstantial. That but, Falcon yeah. statue that we saw, holy shit! Amazing Falcon from the Marvel Cinematic from the Marvel Universe. Cinematic like, Universe. Like, that is like just, this tall, this yeah. wide. Like I was just like, was it a sideshow? It was a like, sideshow. The guy said, right? Yeah. Yeah, it was a sideshow statue. It's amazing. For those of you that haven't seen sideshow ups close, you guys, you guys, the, their work is unbelievable. We have them available in, our, have in them both available. our locations, and the, the, they are the exclusive ver- versions. Oh, a, a cool thing, something that yeah. you can get at a con, and I don't know if many people know this, is we do have a layaway policy here. We do. So if you do see a sideshow statue you want, you can put a deposit and um, put money to your store credit until you can buy the statue. But it's a good thing because we're going to reserve the statue. It would also will hold it for you at that price point. Yep. A lot of these sideshow exclusives give Go it a year. They, yep. Every single one goes up in value. Although we're not going to hold your deposit for a year. We're not going to hold your deposit yeah. for a year, but you know, uh, eventually these statues go. It's a good way to lock in the price and for you to be able to get these awesome statues that 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 are incredible. Now. Yeah, yeah absolutely. And one more shameless plug: we also have uh, con exclusive pops always at both stores because we have the best pop selection in all of South Florida at the best price always. Well, the thing is with the, with the pops here is like we we understand. Maybe not more than other stores, but I know that we understand that there's a community behind it, 
right? And, and and we really strive to help and to bring the community together when it comes to pops, make it easier for people to trade what they don't want for what they do want, and and that way we we're able to move it along and pass it on. But we still have the best selection, regardless. Even if people didn't well, come that, in, I trade, believe we that's have, we have the best selection. I'm yeah, um, sure. Yeah, I mean, I, we order. Uh, I, I don't. I watch Highway to Heaven, man. Okay, Michael landed absolutely. Um, anyway, so this Saturday. Uh, we're going to be doing uh, this show again live. Uh, check our Facebook or Instagram for the time we'll be doing that. Also, continue to check our Facebook or Instagram for when we're doing the dance contest, uh, cosplayers, free gifts, food trucks, uh, local artists, writers, uh, vendors that want to sell stuff. More the merrier. Come one, come all. Be here early. We're running from 11 to 9 p.m., but if you want to uh, be here, make sure you come earlier than that. Uh, space is limited. We have two locations. Do you have anything else to say? I'm, I'm just shutting this are up. We, are we done with Supercon? I, I, I was done with everything. Really? What, what else do you want to say? Oh, no, we could talk about Supercon. I was done with Supercon. I want to, no. I, well, I got, wow. you don't remember, I got wow. really upset at Supercon. Why'd you get upset? Well, there's a reason I was drinking so much. Well, this wasn't the only reason, but one of the main reasons is just how upsetting it is to see all these artists and, and creators with no like fanfare like not to say they don't have fans no i'm not saying they don't have fans but like tomasi was like sitting right there yeah like super sons one of the best books going on in dc right now yeah. not one person was talking to tomasi yeah um like like we said zach was there bd was there like there were a bunch of really cool artists Jessica. yeah and <laughs> 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 there are really a lot of great creators there and you guys need to support these guys too yeah um and <laughs> that uh, off? <laughs> a, a little bit man <laughs> a little bit so i just wanted to comment on that because it was how much you did know. you drink in like an hour no, only had a three, only had three beers and a couple shots of. You had shots know, too. Yeah, they were selling liquor there, dude. When did you down the shot? While you were talking to these people for like ever, man. Oh, I didn't even see that. Wow. Well, I walked away. I was gone most of the time you wow. were there. Wow. Okay, that's cool. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Anyways, yeah. which, by the way, great idea. What liquor at if a con? If you're gonna have, yeah, liquor at a con, awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Let us get drunk. We'll spend more probably. Yeah. Anything else? Nope. Uh, Susie Fett, any more comments, questions, anything? No. No? Good to go. Is Batsy watching? All right. He was. He was. Yeah, he was. All right. One, once again, once again, sa Saturday, 11 to 9 p.m., our back to school end of summer block party. DJ E's in the house, DJ Batsy in the house all day. We got food trucks happening. We got live local artists and writers. We have other vendors selling gear and other fun, nerdy, fun stuff. Dance contest, free gift to anyone in full cosplay. We're doing this show live. It's going to be a great time, you guys. Rain or shine, by the way. Uh, it'll probably rain because it always rains here in good old Florida. But we're gonna go. We're gonna go to distance. Uh, what was that song? Uh, Her Go the Distance from Hercules? Oh, the Michael Bolton song? No, I was thinking of the cake song. Oh, I was thinking. It's going the distance, oh, yeah. going oh. for speed. Oh, I was, I was thinking of Michael Bolton. <laughs> Anyways, we got two stores, always one in Miami on 107th and 8th Street and one in Pembroke Pines, just east of University on Pines Boulevard across from Perry Airport. Uh, we'll see you on Saturday for Atomic Pop. I'm Stephen Corka. Juan Farage. Later.